going to be a web series about parents who have lost a child. She just looked really, really tired. But I've also wondered how other parents cope. She slowly drank her drink. I've always wanted to tell my story and talk about losing a child. She never knew that he bought the methadone, went in to wake her up. I lost a child and also a granddaughter. And her, you know, her eyes are real bloodshot. Having some real conversations with parents who've lost their child. 20 pills of methadone. Due to complications with her pregnancy. Sitting on benches, almost in a zombie state. And now I sit there by myself. During the middle of the night, he woke up about 3.30 in the morning. What did he have to say? That's when my help began. I asked her if everything was okay, and she said she was just really tired. Was there ever any investigation? He didn't want to get into trouble. How hard is it to cope day to day? She didn't know why she was so tired. Police came and they questioned him. She was dying. Right. Yeah. So that definitely keeps me going, for sure. I, I think about her all through the day. I look forward to death. Really? So many people would go to the cemetery. I carry that with me every single day. A song comes on the radio, let my baby die. People get tired, have gotten tired of me talking about her. Right. Nobody brings her up. Right. Um, they did the paddles, they, they worked on her for what seemed like an eternity. I don't talk about her to anyone but, but my son. Closer to her than pretty much anybody. She's the one person that goes to the cemetery with me every year. Okay. Finally, he says to me one day, you know, you really need to just get over that. I said to him, so how would you feel if one of them was removed from you tragically or just immediately and they're gone? I mean, I carry her with me every single day and I'm pretty sure that's the same with you. I had a woman tell me that she knew exactly how I felt mm -hmm. because she had a dog mm -hmm. for eight years. Yeah. And I, I, I wanted to slap her upside her head. Like, right, right. how can you compare a dog? Now right. I understand. I love my dogs. Yeah. But I don't love my dogs like I love my daughter. Right. Absolutely. Yeah. You cannot compare an animal to a child. Right. This is my story. This is my journey. Right. right. And I will deal with it how I feel I need to deal with it. Absolutely. Yeah. And so I Oh, thank you so much, Lisa, for including me in this. Absolutely. I feel honored. Thank <laughs> you.